Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dead Mall Walking. Every so often, I'll get a recommendation from a subscriber for a mall to check out that just sticks in my mind for some reason. That's exactly what happened when a viewer named Joseph recommended that I check out the Ellesmere Center, which has now been rebranded as Walkden Town Center. The Ellesmere Centre shopping precinct opened in 2010 in a major redevelopment of the old Ellesmere Centre, which was built in the late 1960s to replace an old shopping centre and market hall. The adjoining Pembroke Halls, an entertainment venue for variety acts and stand-up comedians, was demolished in 2004. In most malls, empty units are hidden away behind fake storefronts or metal shutters. Although there's a bit of that here, most of Walkden Town centres open right up into the mall. It's a bold attempt to showcase just how much space is available in these units, but the flip side of this is that those walking the mall can see exactly how much space is currently going to waste. All of which gives the place a bit of a post-apocalyptic quality. A 185,000 square foot Tesco Extra concept store opened in this slightly busier wing of the mall in 2010. It's now the largest supermarket in the United Kingdom by floor space, replacing a Tesco superstore that was built in 1973. Actually, to be more accurate, it replaced a purpose-built temporary Tesco that replaced that earlier Tesco superstore. But that's another story. And if that sounds just a bit excessive or over the top to you, believe me, we ain't seen nothing yet. A survey of town centres by Experian found that almost 60% of retail premises in Walkden were standing empty. To date, the centre has had some 70 to 80 million pounds worth of investment, including the revamp and rebranding to Walkden Town Centre. And right now, this is the result of that. But don't expect to be able to use the restrooms. A new health centre and library, named the Walkden Gateway, opened here in 2008, but the property continues to flounder. By the way, the song playing over the mall speakers at the beginning of this video was indeed that song from 13 Reasons Why. How depressing is that? As we walk along this upper section, we'll see a few active retailers coming up on the left. Despite being one of the harder to reach areas, it was actually one of the more lively pockets of the mall. Which just goes to show you how difficult it is to predict these things. Then we're right back to more of that post-apocalyptic empty space. Judging from the number of buckets everywhere, it seems like the centre's roof is in need of some attention. Maybe that wasn't in the budget. But the owners can't exactly rely on it being dry, since we are in England after all. A quick turnaround here post-coronavirus seems unlikely. Right now, the future just doesn't look great for Walkden Town Centre. Staples like the post office have moved out of the centre to a new location, with a new external entrance to go along with it. It's never a good sign when services like these, which guarantee a certain amount of footfall, move away from the core of a mall. More empty units, in various states of disrepair. I believe this is an old bakery, possibly Greg's that, judging from the floor markers, must have closed fairly recently when I visited. But 
but some of these units have been empty for so long that the signage indicating that to be the case actually looks better than some mall stores permanent signs. Make no mistake, there are some nice touches in here, like these hanging lamps that have a Victorian feel. Or these spiral staircases. I've been to a lot of malls and this is the only one I can recall that has spiral staircases. I even took a POV shot going down one of them. Try not to get too dizzy. But for the most part, it's your typical dead mall fare in this area. Mom and pop stores, vacant storefronts, wet floor markers, and fake plants. The scent is a decent size too, and there's a definite risk that you might get a little lost when wandering around it for the first time. I know I did. You can see outside that the main street is relatively busy, which makes it even crazier how quiet this place is. I did enjoy these angled moving walkways though, in place of typical escalators. Despite its size, there are parts of this mall that are completely deserted at times. It's not quite on the same level as Forest Fair Mall because of its through traffic, but it's pretty close. At just under half a million square feet, which is a third of Forest Fair Village's square footage, this place is big. Arguably way too big for a town with a population of around 35,000 people. Shout out to Club 3000 Bingo for what might be one of my favourite store facades ever. With what seems like a work night out that's either going extremely well or horribly wrong depending on your point of view. I have absolutely no clue whether or not karaoke is actually available inside the club. The town centre also houses an indoor market, replacing the market hall that used to run there back in the 60s. A few stalls were active when I visited, but a lot of them seemed to be shuttered and without any signage above them. Very liminal spacey. Market stalls to let. I'll say. I can't tell whether this area would be more active on certain days of the week, but if not, it really does seem very quiet. This is me to you, new and used furniture, still fighting the good fight on the end here. and this directory gives you an idea of just how many vacancies there are in here. Part of the problem here has been the construction of a massive retail park to the rear of the centre, comprised of various perimeter stores and restaurants. Presumably, the idea was that these stores would bring traffic into the mall proper. Spoiler alert, that hasn't happened. I've always gotten the impression that there's a degree of synergy between perimeter stores and malls in the US. That they help each other out to some extent. Please comment with whether or not you think that's true in the comments below. In the UK, however, it tends not to be the case. Retail parks like this one, which function like glorified strip malls in the US, don't seem to pull foot traffic into nearby malls. That may be because they often have limits on how long you can park there for free, I don't think that was the case here. Or it could just be that retail parks are more often freestanding in the UK. Either way, going out and hitting up perimeter stores and a nearby mall just doesn't seem to have quite the same association here.
Will Walkden Town Centre close its doors for good anytime soon? I don't think so. Although, if it does, we know who to go to for the funeral. Because they're already advertising here. But the centre badly needs revitalisation, which doesn't just mean more tens of millions of pounds. And it needs it quickly. Hopefully it'll come in time. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing if you've enjoyed the video. My Instagram is linked in the description below. Until next time, goodbye from Walkton Town Centre.